Uh, welcome to uh, Cold Run 2. Um, quite a famous uh, difficult game on the Commodore 64. Uh, you could argue it's a bit easier than uh, the first Cold Run game, which is ridiculously hard, but um, this is still quite a tough game. Right, let's have a look. Now you control this little pumpkin. I think we're healed in f to fire, yeah, yeah. You have different levels of bounce. It's basically, to be honest, it's, it's like Jet Set Willy, but with a pumpkin. I suppose that's a, a different enough to make it uh, interesting. But it is quite hard. And unless you've had a lot of practice, you end up like me and just end up just bouncing all over the place. There you go, lost my first life. You've got all, I think, there's a little counter at the top that says magic. This is actually your life force, but you can, when, when, once you pick up a, uh, it is, you can start, you can f use that to fire, but also when you fire it, it subtracts one from your magic count. I think the aim of the game is to collect enough items to um, overthrow the uh, evil witch. The witch being the uh, main character of the first game. I mean, you know, it's, it, this is quite a that's quite a decent uh, flat screen platform game. Uh, uh, certainly the uh, controls make it uh, that bit different. But it is hard. There's no doubt about that. Uh, this is a hard game. And you need a lot of practice, I think. I suppose if you have a map, it's, it's a bit easier. You can plan ahead a little bit. Oh, well. There's some annoying bits like that, but you, there's some instant death objects, you know, if they're sharp or, or big aliens, or uh, any, well, I don't know what, I suppose are um, big enemies uh, that, that they can cause instant death, which I, I think that's a bit annoying, but, um, yeah, if I, if I land on that statue, it would kill me instantly. Try enough bounce here. There we go. I think it's going to tip me down anyway, isn't it? Yeah. Oops, obviously fell too far there. Let's, oops, seem to be have left the castle. Another instant death. Oh, I'm gonna die there, yep. Yeah. So that's got a bit frustrating really. Um, right. Big jump. I guess a bit closer, then try go for a big jump. There we go. Oh. I mean, graphically, uh, the game's good. Uh, the sprites are all sort of uh, monocolor, but you know they're well, defi well defined. Oh, what? I oh, didn't do very well there. Have another quick game. Well, I think that's one of the objects I have to collect, yep. Obviously that was the wrong way to go. Oh, back outside again. Wonderful. In fact, you know what, I think that's the screen I was on last time, so don't want to go that way, do I? I'm surprised I managed to, uh, <laughs> managed to get past there, alright. <laughs> oh, this is quite a good game for the time, to be honest. Uh, also, it's a, it's a little dated in terms of... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. In terms of its gameplay, it's, it, uh, there's been so many platform games, that, especially uh, the flat screen ones uh, like this. Uh, it's hard for it to... Um, doesn't quite have the impact it probably had when it came out. Uh, 
So I've got to bear that in mind, I think. Yeah, that's probably great for the map, but I don't have one to hand. Pretty much stuffed here, actually. Ooh. Don't know how I managed to make that. Oh, what? Sandy. Oh. Yeah, that, that, that witch laugh is starting to get a little bit annoying. Oh, to be fair, I think this would be a good game if, if uh, it'd be a better game if it was a bit easier or you had more lives maybe. But um, I personally find it difficult to get very far in it. Uh. But I mean, the controls aren't actually that hard uh, once you get used to them, uh, and you can. I mean, they're quite well thought out. You, can, you know, you can fire and you can move around. Okay, um, well that's two whole games of Cauldron in about uh, Cauldron Two in about ten minutes. Uh, <laughs> that gives you an idea of how hard it is. Uh, but yeah, it's not not that bad a game. Um, I'll give it. Um, I'll give it seven out of ten, which is still quite a respectable score. Which that's way above average. So it's. Uh, it's not dirty that badly to be, to be honest. Alright, see you in the next video.